Alright, how's it going guys? I'm Mr. Soupy, and today I'm going to be showcasing a texture pack that my friend made, and it's really, really nice. It's technically the same thing as the normal texture pack, except it's um, just more detail. I mean, if you look into this diamond spark, you look, you notice that it has a little bit more blur, but a little bit like, like the, the um, <laughs> I can't speak, the pixels are smaller, right? The pixels are way smaller than the normal, you see? Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna be going over this uh, texture pack. It's really nice. Sadly, it's for 1.9 and above. So if you're a 1.8.9 main, which I am, uh, you won't be able to use it. But I will. I mean, I, anytime I have to play Worlds in 1.12 for whatever reason, I'm definitely gonna use this texture pack because it's because it's real nice. And if you're also a 1.12 main for whatever reason, <laughs> you can feel free to use this pack as well. I'll leave the link in in the description as of course, all that good shit. But um, yeah, there's also a few custom weapons, not too many, but this, but this is a good example of one of them. It looks real nice. It's, it's big though, it's big. This is also another example. I'm using this as an aqua weapon. I just played a game with it and it looks, I, I, it, it, it feels nice to play with. It's nice and long and doesn't cover up too much of the screen. It has like a nice little hit animation. So <laughs> anyway, let's go into this. Pretty much everything has been changed in here. Now, the one thing, and that's going to take forever to show is the legendary weapons because for whatever reason in 1.12 if you go all the way down to the legendary weapon area it does not show any of the weapons it sucks but um anyway let's go ahead and get into this i can showcase the helmets later but for now let's just take a look at some of the common weapons they are all i don't think that's loud but if it if it is i'm sorry i don't think um no, it's not. It's not think. I know that none of the weapons have been recolored, so they're all the same as before. So if you don't like recolors, then this is for you. Um, but they're all just way smoother than they used to be. Like there's you, there's way more texture to them than before because it's a higher resolution. Like look look at the look at this uh, walking stick. It looks sexy in terms of texture. But yeah, I think you're starting to get the main idea. It's just it's just more um, texture to the weapons. Some of them it's way harder to tell than with others, but some of the animated weapons have nice have like such nice animations. I I don't get there. But for these common weapons, they're a little bit harder to show off. Have some mad lads here. <laughs> so um, this is also another custom weapon. I honestly, I'm gonna honestly say this is not a good weapon. I'm not gonna use it, but um, yeah, I guess if you're interested, there are a few custom weapons that replace other um, weapons. So, one of them that got replaced with the fell flame, but I, it's it's probably the best custom one out of them all. We'll we'll we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. But uh, yeah, here's some more of the new textures. And uh, according to GM Box, it took a long time to make, this, like about two to three months, not just <laughs> a week like recolors do. But I mean, it makes sense because you literally, like, you literally have to recolor every single texture. I mean, you have to redo every single t every single pixel into like a higher resolution. So it makes sense why it takes a long time. It's it's like it's kind of sad because it's like that's a lot of work for little for such little detail. But I mean, I like it so. Whenever I use 1.12, which I'll occasionally use now, I'll definitely use this texture pack. This is also another custom weapon. <laughs> I accidentally went past it, but it's like it's like a staff, probably like a good for Aquamancer. And uh, the helmets have been changed as well, so don't forget about those. And like the, like literally everything has been changed. The armor and the helmets, yeah. Um, this is the greater armor, which I like, and the masterwork armor also looks somewhat better. I don't know if it like feels better like to actually wear it I don't know but I'm I'm a greater armor main so <laughs> I like how the greater armor looks and when it's like in here you don't see much of a difference but in my like, perspective it does look different um these are the helmets 90 helmets you can see that the fire has more texture to it like the fire actually looks more like fire now like, like look at that you can see the fire. It is kind of big. Like I can say here that like the fire on the wing is quite weird. <laughs> not gonna lie, but uh, it's it's way more texturized than before. The fire before was lame. <laughs> the warrior helmet is popping off in terms of fire. 
and that's these are the ones for the red side. Should probably turn that phone mode on. And then these are just the more basic elements. Not too much of a difference to them, but you can see some of the texture changes. There's more, there's just way more texture to it if you look closely, which I like about it. Epic. Yeah, pretty much the same thing here. The wings also look nice, the Paladin wings, yeah. It's just nice to see the pack with more texture, you know. And if your PC can handle it, why not use it? So, um, this is the Diamond Spark, we already saw that. This is uh, another custom weapon. It has a nice uh, fire animation to it, or I guess lava animation. Um, yeah, here's some of the other epic weapons. This one looks really nice. I, ha I have this as my pyro weapon now. Because, uh, look, look at the fire. I, I, I like it a lot. Looks real nice. This, this is what I was talking about. How like when um, some of the some some of the retextures actually like you can see the difference. Like you can see the difference within this fire in the uh, what's this called flame weaver. <laughs> so yeah, let me go back to the aqua weapon. Uh, this is the rune blade. Here we go to more epic weapons. That one honestly looks the same, but I guess that's just me. Can't really tell this one as well. This is also another custom weapon. Um, I, I pretty much don't like it, but maybe someone else does. I don't know. This is a uh, gnome gusta. It's pretty, it's a pretty weird weapon. I don't know if anyone likes it. That's the gem crusher. Maybe that's more. <laughs> the tenderizer looks the same, pretty much. And um, these weapons, for whatever reason, are not showing. They were showing yesterday. Let me switch to all these. Mr. Craft to catch up. <laughs> Gotta go all the way back. And almost there. There we go. All right, there we go. Here's some more. Hammer of Light. It's hard to notice like while you're playing in game. But it's, it's just a nice little detail, I guess. It took a lot of time, so I want to make sure that, you know, people know about it. That's why I'm doing this little showcase. And uh, for the legendary weapons, I'll just have to show them off the hard way. Because you can't see any of the weapons in there in 1.12 for whatever retarded reason. So uh, I'm going to use my pyro weapon for this. Since it probably has the most unlocks. Um, so this is the Fell Flame Blade. Well, I guess we're starting with Void Edge. Void Edge, I accidentally misclicked. This is the Void Edge. The bottom has a lot of texture to it. I like it. Um, this is the Fell Flame Blade. This is the only legendary weapon that was changed. I wish it wasn't the Fell Flame, but um, it's, it's not a bad weapon at all. I like it. It's kind of like a... It kind of reminds me of the Buster Sword, but with color to it. It also has some nice like text in the middle, or... <laughs> symbols I guess I don't know but I, I mean I, I can't speak I like using it so I just wish it didn't replace Felfling since that is probably superior to me all right um let's go over the next one Gemini 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 I don't care this one pretty much looks the same just more texture which is uh, how a lot of them look like uh, Marinth Pretty much the same, just more texture. Donald Gen Trump's in my face. Oh no, uh, arm blade. You can the the arm blade model in 1.12 is annoying. Keep in mind, some of the models in 1.12 are like just completely retarded. Like either it's so much harder to see the weapon, or it's just like you can barely see it at all. And the arm blade is a good example of this. Like, what the frick is this? Come on, come on. <laughs> the arm blade model sucks, but um. You can at least see the fire texture, I, at least, I guess. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Uh, next, the battle. This is probably one of my more favorite legendaries among this pack because of the fire. It looks so much better to me. I like this one a lot. <laughs> the player has been removed from your lobby. <laughs> 
All right, next. Uh, void twig. Keep in mind the animations have been um changed as well, so they also have a higher resolution. It's pretty nice. This took a lot of time for such small detail, but um, I feel like, feel like maybe some people will like it. So, uh, Ruby Thorn. Honestly, I don't like it because of the model. It looks weird, but anyway, just a preference. Ender Fist looks pretty nice with the animation. Bull passes highlights on. It's annoying. All right, um, just a few more. Drake Fang. Drake Fang is huge. Look at this shit. It's huge. I don't like using it because just because of how uh, big it is. <laughs> it's freaking huge. Like, look at this. Imagine like hitting with this. <laughs> so big. Um, frostbite. Frostbite honestly sucks because you can barely see the weapon. Frostbite already has a bad model, but 1.12 makes it even worse. So GG. And last one should be um, broccoli. Broccoli. Not bad, not bad. You can barely tell that much difference between 1.8 and then uh, this this texture pack. But um, yeah, it looks normal. So <laughs> now that's pretty much it for this pack. There's pretty much nothing else to show. But uh, keep in mind that um, some of the animations have been changed as well, including that doesn't mean just weapon animations, but um, like things like lightning bolts, uh, fireballs, you know, things like that that are shown in game, the Paladin, Holy Radiance, Light Infusion, that kind of shit. And those have also been changed as well, most likely. I looked at some of the um, files in the pack, and uh, the lightning bolt was more smooth, and the chain lightning was more smooth, so I believe uh, all of those. Um, textures have been changed as well, but anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching um, I hope you are interested in this pack cuz I definitely like it won't be my main pack, but um, It'll be nice to switch to it every now and then just to get a different look of warlords from all the recolors and shit. So yeah uh, Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. See ya